Dr. Lachenfall, one of your earlier colleagues, uh, Dr. Wen and then Dr. Stewart, they educated us a lot about blood clots and about uh, deep venous thrombosis. One of the things they pointed as a long-term sequela of a blood clot in the leg could be something they called a post-thrombotic leg syndrome. Uh, can you expand on that a little bit and uh, also tell us if there's something you can do for patients who have that? So post-thrombotic is, you know, the name is actually self-explanatory if you, if you understand the terms. Post-thrombotic means that an issue which develops in the leg, which is a long-term uh, uh, sequela of a blood clot, which, uh, which had happened in the, in the leg. So the blood clots happen in the superficial veins, which is the uh, veins which are visible on the legs, as well as in the veins which are deeper in the leg, which are not visualized uh, physically uh, by the naked eye, but we need to look for them with the ultrasound. So whenever you have a blood clot, which basically blocks the vein in the uh, lower part of the leg or the thigh, or even up in the groin area, the body resolves that blood clot over a period of time. The purpose of the blood thinners is that we are put on whenever we have a blood clot is to prevent a new clot from forming and prevent the existing clot from getting any worse. But the body's own uh, dissolving mechanisms try to take care of the existing blood clot. But unfortunately, as a part of that uh, process, there's a lot of scarring which develops inside the vein uh, or in inside of the deep veins. And because of that, the pipe, which was initially this big, is now about this big. And sometimes that pipe never opens up and the drainage of the blood is just through the bypasses which the body forms. And because of that, there is an increased pressure in the venous system because remember the veins are the drainage system of the legs. So if a drain pipe gets blocked, there's a lot of pressure downstream. And that pressure in turn over a period of time causes a lot of skin changes, causes a lot of swelling, causes, can cause ulceration. And a, a combination of all these in put together is called the post-thrombotic syndrome. There is ways of preventing that. First of all, of course, if you try not to get a blood clot, but I know it's not in our hands. Uh, if you do get a blood clot and it's in one of the bigger veins which exists from the thigh upwards, and if you get, seek attention right away and they can give you the clot busting medicine or suck the clot out, that lowers your chances of developing a post thrombotic syndrome. Uh, aggressively getting treated with the blood thinners during the initial you know, acute phase helps to lower the chances of uh, the patients developing uh, a post-traumatic syndrome. Um, people who are uh, less obese, uh, meaning skinnier, will there's less chances that they may form a, may have a post-traumatic syndrome going forward. And of course, use of compression stockings uh, on a regular basis uh, will help to improve the drainage out of the leg, reduce the pressure in the venous system, and uh, subsequently help to uh, lower your chances of post thrombotic syndrome. And in addition, if there is a narrowing of the vein going higher up in your in the pelvic area, in the groin area, and if that is opened up, that would also help to reduce the pressure in the downstream vein system. And that again helps with the uh, improving your uh, or lessening your chance of having a post thrombotic syndrome. Well, thank you again, Dr. Lachenfall.